guys, it's Jordan from Alter Element Games here, and I'm doing a video on the mechanics breakdown and my impressions for the game of Dying Light, the newest zombie survival title from Techland. Now, I want to discuss my hopes and concerns for this upcoming title, and my predictions for the overall experience once the game is played. Since the game is coming out in less than 10 days, I want to get some valid points and opinions out of the way while we look at the press release footage of the game. Let's check it out. Alright, first off, we're going to talk about the gameplay features that show promise within Dying Light. The first point is the parkour system for navigating the open world, the day and night cycle, and weather effects that dynamically changes the effects and behaviors of zombies. Dangers of Nightfall is actually real. A fast crafting and easy upgradable system, better melee mechanics and combat, airdrop and saving survivors missions, a greater gameplay tightness and control, and and a darker toned story with situational choices. Now let's elaborate on each one of those points, shall we? The new parkour system is really, really fascinating. Kind of reminds me of Mirror's Edge. I don't want to drift off too far, but mainly you use the shoulder button to do all the climbing and traversing. This one button parkour, climb, traverse uh, action helps streamline the controls and makes it a lot more enjoyable for the player to move from rooftop to rooftop. Now the day and night cycle and the dynamic weather effects are critical in this game. During the daytime, you actually can do missions with the zombies being slowed down by sunlight. But at nighttime presents the danger where zombies have the ability to sprint and chase and cause more damage. And they're more, um, there's more dangerous types of zombies like hulking, big or tendril having, climbing, slime throwing zombies, whichever to each its own. The fact Fast crafting in the game is pretty awesome. Uh, in the press release, if you actually craft a weapon in the game, it happens pretty quickly. Uh, and the easy upgradable system is basically uh, once you have two items together, then they'll automatically have the next upgradable item right there. So if you have like a bat and some nails, you can automatically make uh, the bat with spikes coming out from the top of it. And it's really fast to craft it. It only takes like 10 seconds for the for it to craft, even even faster. Uh, the melee combat is back from Dead Island where Techland still uses the uh, boot or for melee and then actually maintains the stamina bar within the mechanics itself. Uh, I'm hoping that the fighting is tightened enough to where we see a change or evolution within combat and nothing where it's, it feels floaty or um or you know you're not hitting anything i want nice visual hits you know i want that strong effect when i swing my weapon my newly upgradable weapon at a zombie's head and that causes some major damage uh airdrops and saving survivor missions that looks really awesome airdrops will have you sprinting like i said from roof, rooftop to rooftop trying to get there as fast as you can because because there are other units, other survivors trying to get to that airdrop. Uh, saving survivors is also a key thing too. I think you can gain like reputation points or you know a good standing uh, in your se in your section or sector um, if you save some people's lives and you know they might owe you one or two. The greater gameplay controls, uh, hopefully the controls are tighter than the Dead Islands. Uh, the mechanics, the the stamina, uh, the swing, the jumping, the grabbing on. Hopefully all that is tightened up and none of that needs like a patch in the near future you know hopefully everything is there and fully fleshed out and the darker tone of the story and situ with sw situational choices like there was one um those videos I was watching where uh angry joe was playing Di dying light and some guy was given some fake anison which is like one of the medicines that uh try to fight the infection that fights the infection it's kind of like an antibody medicine that's widely used within the city but the the character that crane has to help actually takes some fake anison and it starts to affect his body and crane has to stop uh, a character named yusef to uh stop him from dealing these out because it might get to children or other survivors like that and you don't want that happening within your section where people are giving out fake medicine and then people are are hurting or dying left and right because not of zombies but of this fake medicine that they're uh giving out and then that that kind of like reduces trust and morale when uh, everybody's being affected by this fake junk and people are just 
you know being greedy and trying to earn the most money you, you gotta put you gotta put the shoes to this man you know you gotta you gotta beat him down and that's one of the things that i like about that that darker tone and situational choices where you know you find the guy you either tell him to stop selling or you just kill him you know uh ha not have him affect your community or your partners your friends because the more that medicine gets out there the more it hurts people and that's critical and that's what i like about this darker tone story now i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the darker side of <laughs> this explanation or this elaboration of uh things that kind of disappoint me and it's only like three points into uh, my speech here and it's one the pre-order <laughs> game mode that's being stripped out you know for guys to you know for to make the game sell and uh having that pre-order there it's it's really unnecessary to and it's to to be a zombie mode basically that should be already in the game already and this kind of reminds me of the time where 2k and their uh 2k nba 2k i think it was 12 where they took out the slam dunk contest because you had to pre-order the game and i was like i'm not buying that like you you randomly stripped off the a game mode just so people can pre-order the game and you know buy it and the game wasn't that good anyway you know and then they didn't even offer the slam dunk uh contest for free after that no no it was like 10 bucks and i was like you know what fuck this game fuck this franchise whatever it hasn't been good since 2011 but um let's move on uh, another point is the lackluster ui uh design it's kind of cumbersome there's a lot of tabs uh things aren't supposed to be where they're you know should be uh medical supplies is all the way at the bottom of the list and you know healing is just so cumbersome and so so lame the, the ui needs to be tightened up it, it really does and also bad melee defense and enemy uh enemy and human ai I, i've seen some bad uh ai from humans where they would just get stuck on a wall you know i mean that's that's just that's just beta you know hopefully that gets cleaned up but the trend and most likely of uh games now today where they're being pushed out way too freaking early i mean way too early and then they need to patch like two weeks later or they make a patch two weeks later that should have been you know implemented during development but you know how these producers are and i really want to explain that part of game development to people who don't understand it's the producers and people who are funding this development really not giving the developers time to finish that because everybody every developer has uh the full game in mind but if they have some mistakes that they have to correct and then the deadline is being pushed it's not going to be met it, it won't be met so that's another thing and the bad melee defense in this game and enemy ui hopefully it's a lot better because blocking enemies blocking in this game it's either um they're either really invincible and they block all your hits or they just don't put up defense at all there's not a medium there's no gray area in between it's one or the other and that's really troublesome for me you know i can understand the zombies being like really easy to kill after a few swings and the real this real strategy has to come from don't let them swarm you you know you have to get them or line them up one at a time but when it comes to humans and the bad guys who are human we need more gray area design for the en enemy ai you know there are some people who need to be really easy to kill or really hard to kill depending on how they're looking how they're modeled maybe this guy has like some body armor on him and uh has a really nice weapon that you know he can easily block your attacks i mean you can use a brick hammer against a guy and this guy has like a sludge hammer or a huge bat and that's gonna affect the combat in, in its way or if a guy just has a gun and you have a bat you're not gonna win that fight you you need to hide you need to get some cover so hopefully those strategies strategies within combat make it within the game and continues to be part of the game so uh you know i i i want to see that in the final cut of this game inside dying light i'm, I'm here's hope for it i'm kind of disappointed in the pre-order but there's some there's a lot of promise and there are a lot of there's a lot of upside within dying light that i i love to see so hopefully when that comes out on january 27th uh, i'll be there I'll, I'll get the game and i'll try it out because that looks really really interesting interesting first i'm probably gonna uh buy the the wii games that are coming on wii u then probably move
move on to Dying Light. But other than that, it, it, it looks good. It looks really good, and it shows some promise. And uh, tell me, guys, if you guys are looking forward to Dying Light, or are you looking forward to uh, uh, Jaeger Entertainment's uh, Dead Island 2? Since Techland actually switched to a different project and made Dying Light, Jaeger Entertainment, the same guys who made Spec Ops The Line, is actually doing Dead Island 2, which I'm really looking forward to because their games are... It, they're great you know that they, they are awesome spec on spec ops the line is one of the best games and narratives i i played in a while so you can criticize whatever that that game was phenomenal for a small team like that to get a story that that grips your heart that bad everybody gives last of us a huge you know hurrah even though they're like the biggest company now you know and spec ops the line doesn't get the same respect yeah think about that for a second all right guys let me stop rambling uh that was my uh description and breakdown and my impressions on dying light let me know how you feel about the game and are you excited about picking up this title comment below let me know i'll see you guys next time in the next video Kev FLA, peace and love. I'm out of here. Alter Element Games, where gameplay is everything.